Well, despite the temperature, spring has sprung and area nurseries are getting busy. Cutter Martin is joining us live outside of our studio with some patio inspiration. Good morning, Cutter. Hey, yeah, good morning, Saria. Certainly feeling cold with the wind blowing, but we're already in that time of year where we're looking ahead to spring and summer annuals, bringing that summer color into your yard, whether it's in the bed or in this case uh, in, a, in a potted arrangement. That's what we're talking about now. This is the winter uh, arrangement we did months ago right here morning break. Dusty Miller as the base and some of our cover here, the pansies. We had a 90 degree weekend just recently and a couple weeks ago, and these kind of got knocked down a little bit, and it wouldn't be too many more 90 degree days before these completely, uh, you know, bit the so just a reminder, we are transitioning away from Dusty Miller and Pansy season and towards Coleus and Lithodor. They both love full sunshine and, of course, favor the warmer weather, spring and summer blooming. Uh, they can last into the fall, though. So basically, all you have to do, again, if this is in your garden, if it's not in a pot, I'm pulling these out right now. I would suggest even just leaving them, maybe then cutting them back down to the base. And this is going to be a messy project uh, because even though some of these are annuals, if they have a well-established root base like this, this and you just cut it back. Yes, they will go dormant. Yes, they will die back in the summertime, but they may spring right back up as soon as those temperatures cool back down. So if they are in a bed, you may be able to leave them and just cut them back as they get kind of droopy and eventually do go dormant uh, with the hotter temperatures. Again, pulling both of those out, pulling the pansies out. You can do the same thing with pansies. Let nature take its course. Let them die off a little bit, but if they do have a well-established root base in a flower bed, they may spring back up as soon as we head back into a next fall. But for now, and for the purpose of potting, we're going to go ahead and take everything out. Maybe get the kids involved. This is a three-day weekend. You're dying the Easter eggs. This is a good project for the whole family as well. And we're going to follow a similar structure. I'm going to go with the bigger plant. This is coleus. My mom loves these. I grew up with them all over the yard. They're very easy to grow. This was about 8 to $10, a little pricey, uh, but it's a three-quart pot. You have three separate plants. And honestly, this is one of the easiest plants to root. You can literally snip these off as they get more mature as they get taller snip the tops off a couple inches down below a leaf node here uh, you know maybe about so down or so put it in a bottle of water or a cup of water in a sunny window and it will root so easily and you can get many more plants and remember that eight to ten dollars you can really stretch that if you want to make more potting arrangements or maybe uh, put it in a bed now this is lithodora both are sun loving both the lithodora and the coleus itself this is obviously trailing uh, and i like the contrast between the warm colors and the blue colors colors, the warm colors and the, the kind of cooler uh, shades of blue there. I like that contrast. Obviously, there are no rules to this. You can do whatever you want to. Uh, some other options, especially if you have a bigger pot, would be sweet potato vine, margarita vine, something that kind of trails and spills over and will complement uh, the brighter, flashier colors of the coleus. I bought two. They were $5 each. These will spread and not necessarily always the easiest to root, but they will spread pretty easily and take over a lot of ground. So these also, especially borders of flower beds, are going options for the purpose of the pot i'm going to go ahead and just leave one in here remember coleus will mound it will expand it will literally fill this entire pot and beyond beyond uh, while this lithodora does droop over so that's all you had to do it's time to switch but if you're doing so today if you've been inspired or, or if you've been wanting to do this you can do it today but remember coleus very sensitive so is lithodora to the cooler temperatures bring them in tonight put them in the garage probably again saturday evening into sunday morning by the time we're in the 70s sunday afternoon, Easter afternoon, your family's coming over eating outside, put it back on the back patio. They're going to love it. It's going to be free and easy to do. And a reminder, if you have any other gardening questions, uh, comments, concerns, visit WTOC.com. Click on that morning break tab and scroll down to the outdoor section. Much more there. And we'll be putting this segment online as well a little bit later this morning. Kyle.